Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today we're going to do some comparisons between a manufactured solar generator and two different versions of homemade solar generators. Now for me, I've got this Quonset hut out here that I run my sawmill in and I do some other work in it. And I wanted power out here, but I wasn't ready to go through the whole process of running an electric line buried out here or anything like that. I wanted a portable power source that ran off solar. It also just saves on electric. And at that point, I got the Geniverse unit that you see right here. This is 2,000 or 2,200 watts, 2,400 watt hour unit. And I got this, and I thought it was great, and I made a video about it. But I try to really listen to the comments in my videos. And a lot of people were saying, yeah, we see these units on YouTube all the time, and they're great, but they're not really affordable for the average person. And I listen to that and I say, okay, can someone get the same result for less money? So this unit here is like twenty-three or $2,400 by itself, but the package I got came with the solar panels, which is pretty important for what I'm doing. And with everything, you're looking at $3,300, $3,500, depending on where you get it. So first thing we did was build this unit. This just has two car batteries. One of them is a deep cycle battery, but they're just regular batteries. And we built this whole setup for like $500, five or $600 for an inverter, two batteries, toolbox. If, the, if they'd been new batteries. We didn't spend that much, but yeah. Yeah, we spent almost nothing because he already had an inverter. The only thing I bought, I already had the toolbox, I already had the batteries. We spent $70 to build this out of stuff that was just laying around. But if you were going to build this whole thing from scratch, you might be six, seven hundred dollars. Yeah. And then this this video I put out, people said that's too expensive. I put out this video, they said that's not as good. And um, I said, well, is there a way to get something that is as good as this, that's closer to this price? So that's what we're working on today. So. I thought you spent a lot of time kind of looking at some of the comments on the video when we made our first unit. And I was going to get your reaction to some of the critiques that people had on us. Well, one thing people commonly said is that we needed a, uh, a pure sine wave inverter. There are very few things that require a pure sine wave inverter. inverter. Um, electric motors will run a little more efficiently uh, on, a, on a pure sine wave, but it won't tear them up. Most of your electronics have an inverter in the in the electronic and it's actually running on on DC voltage. Your laptop runs on 19.5 volts. Your cell phones are 4.5. Almost everything that's high-tech electronics uh, is converted to DC because it's so much more manageable. You're able to get 19 and a half volts or 24 or you know fr from a same source. And when we talk about putting this box together, we're going to talk about the cost difference between getting the pure sine wave and the regular. But I, we've been doing this for years and years. Dad was doing these kind of power units when I was a kid. And for most things, it doesn't matter. But if you're concerned about it, you can spend a couple hundred extra dollars. I had run these for years and never had it damage a TV or a laptop or anything. So I'm seeing all these comments and I'm like, what's up with that? So I did some more research and that's what I found out. Another thing is the batteries won't last as long. And that's just true. Those car batteries won't last as long as a lithium ion battery. So in our video today, we're using a LIPO, lithium iron phosphate battery, that is what is in this. And these do thousands and thousands of charge cycles compared to that. And this battery has almost all of the same outputs as this. You're looking at 200 amp hours, 2,560 watt hours. This is 2,400 watt hours. So this battery is just as good as this battery. Now the other things you're getting with this setup that you didn't get with this setup is it is going to be a pure sine wave. It's also set up, built into it, it has the inverter. So you're always buying an inverter. It also is going to have a charging box that allows you to charge from a car outlet or from AC or DC, AC power in your house. And 
So those are built into this. We'll factor them into the cost of this. Anything else stand out to you about our uh, feedback our, on the Our box? first video was noticeably simplistic. It, it, it's, what I liked about it was the simplicity. Yes, you can do better, but then you're spending a lot more money and taking a lot more time to get all the components together. So they all, and you know, all the different, all three of these have their different advantages. So this video about our DIY version has close to 100,000 views. That's a high mark for my channel. That tells me there's interest in a follow-up. So as soon as we published this and it took off, I got emails from six different companies that make LIPO batteries. Everyone's saying, we want you to test our batteries. And then I got a bunch of emails from companies that make solar panels. And I sifted through all those and chose what I think was going to work the best for us. Now, these batteries right here, this is from Power Queen. Power Queen is the one I chose. I thought it was a great price for what it is. And they offered to give me the battery. They also offered to give a 5% discount on you guys buying one of these batteries. So I'll have a discount code in the description. Same story with the solar panels we're going to use. And I'll grab those in a minute and show you. Then right here, we have an inverter that we just went and bought. This is not a pure sine wave inverter because I didn't feel like the extra cost was justified. You know, I'm not looking to spend a bunch of money. I already actually have what I need. I bought this to make a video for you and probably I'll give one of these to my dad here. So this is a 300 or 3000 watt and it costs $300. And this battery has the same energy storing capacity as this unit. This actually puts out more power, and this has a capability up to 100 amps, whereas you're looking at like 18 amps here, and this would be maybe 25 amps, something like that. So the battery is not going to limit the output you have. Just more draw is up to 100 amps, but more draw is just going to run it down quicker. So in theory, this setup should be more capable than this setup at a lesser price. Another comment we got several times was about battery management systems. Now, most of your LiPo 4 batteries have a battery management system built in, but uh, it's not really necessary for uh, a deep cycle lead acid. So I think we have gave a pretty good explanation of what we're doing here. Now I think we'll grab the solar panels and actually get this kit put together. Okay, these are the solar panel kits I got. And like I was saying a minute ago, I got a bunch of offers for solar panels. And this is from a company called Wise. And I have a previous relationship with a representative who got me these and had a good experience there. Looks like a good, well-priced kit. You're getting a lot more. We were just at Harbor Freight looking at their kits. And you're getting more for your money, more value, more charging, more with the kit than the solar kits I saw at Harbor Freight. So each of these has a 100 watt charging capacity. The kit that I'm using was $200. Well, no, actually, it was original price was $220, but since I've been looking at them, it's been on sale for $180. So for $180, you get 200 watts of charging capacity. You get all your cables and connections. You get this charge controller here, which you know, shows how much you're charging, then it is a junction kind of for your solar input and then your output to the battery. And just a charge controller like that at Harbor Freight is $75 and actually doesn't look as nice as this one. So just the charge controller got you halfway to the price of this whole kit. The kit also came with two small puck lights that I haven't tried yet. And then you've got click-in connectors on all of your setup for the solar. Like this has a red ring on it and plugs in like this. This is like a joiner. This joins two panels to give you one output. You've got a positive and a negative on that. So this whole setup took us about three minutes to figure out how it went together. Pretty inexpensive. Says it charges at 200 watts. Now everything we're doing is comparing to the setup I got from Geniverse. The Geniverse setup had 400 watts of charging, so you'd need uh, to double these up to really match that. But for what I'm doing, 200 watts feels like plenty. The battery 
had a normal price that said of 700, but since I've been looking, it's listed for 600. And also with both products, you can get a discount by buying through my link. So cost, 300 for the inverter, 600, so we're at nine, 200 here makes 11, and both of these units are portable. So this is heavy, you can carry it, but it's pretty heavy, but this is portable. That one, our first one, we put into a box with a tall handle and wheels. So we're gonna include making this portable. So we're at 1100, I spent $50 on a large box. It's, I'd rather have a smaller one, but it's pretty good size, but a large sturdy box with wheels that we're gonna put all this in. Battery charger, Power Queen, who makes these batteries, also makes a simple setup that lets you charge this on your home power. And if you really wanna match this, you're going to also get a, something that lets you charge from a vehicle. So now we're from 1100, we're to 13, maybe 14 with that charger. And if you want pure sine wave like this has, you're another $200 because it was 500 for that. We're at 1600 for a setup that in my mind completely matches this. The only thing you're gonna get out of that that you wouldn't get out of this other setup is a little bit of a compact, more portable unit and it gives you a readout. It does the math for you on not just how much power you're using and how much you're charging, but also an estimator for how long the battery will last at current draw. And I think that has some value, but if this works the way I think it will, which we're about to test, you're going to be at exactly half price. First thing I wanna test this on is my miter saw. I used a small miter saw with the Geniverse just to test it. Then I brought my big one out here and it wouldn't run it. It kicked off every time I tried to fire it. And the math says it should work with the output rating on that, but it, it won't. So we're gonna see if it'll run off of this. So let's transfer all of this stuff into a portable box. Right here are the solar panels that came with the Geniverse. I just have them leaned at a 45 against the side of my building. They get sun half the day, and that's not a perfect way to do it, but for the amount I use the Geniverse unit, it is always full when I come out here. So until I'm using more than it charges, I'm not gonna worry about it. So I've put these the same way, just leaned at a 45, Ran the cables through the side of the building, and I think it'll work just fine. I'm just going to use this for a while and see how it works. Now, Wise sent me in the kit with these, in addition to the things I'm using, they sent the two puck lights and some different brackets and a bunch of different types of screws for mounting this in different situations. If you want to mount them to metal or some kind of a wood frame or a pole or whatever, but I'm just not using any of that right now. So what we've done here is pretty simple. This box was $50 at Home Depot. Pretty sturdy box. It's got wheels on that side so you can roll it around. We put the battery in right here, put some chunks of wood on each side so that it can't slide. And we put another chunk of wood on this side. So basically the battery is kind of locked in place you could do something fancier, but this will work for now. Then we screwed, I got some little bolts and nuts actually, and attached the inverter to this side and the charge controller to this side. And everything's pretty well mounted. We drilled two holes on this end to poke the cables through that go out to the solar panels. So we can charge this with the lid on it, but if we're actually running it, we'll have the lid off. People always talked about ventilation and heat with this. I'm not concerned about ventilating it because I didn't even run a cord in here that can be ran with the lid on. So if I'm using it, I'll take the lid off or I'll drill some holes in it. But it seems to me like this is gonna work pretty well. Now today we're not doing any kind of a long-term test, but we know that these batteries, the LIPO, lithium iron phosphate deep cycle batteries are the same thing that's being used in the expensive units. Oh, it's actually running that, so yep. it should be it's making It's the fans it. cooling the unit. Yeah, I was like, we don't need that fan running because we're not doing anything. <laughs> it's hot out here. <laughs> yeah. So, 
this is the same type of battery technology that's being used in the expensive units then the quality and the type of inverter you pick will kind of determine the quality and power of your output otherwise there's no reason that this should not work as well as that the nice thing about that is the convenience of it all being well packaged in one unit and that it tells you how many hours of life you have left on your battery. Seem to you like this is worth sixteen hundred if that's worth thirty five hundred? Yeah, and, and, and that is about what that Geniverse with the solar panels run. I looked it up when Brock first showed it to me, I looked it up on their website at that time I think it was thirty seven fifty for the complete package. Yeah. And so, so yeah, this this is actually outperforming it. It'll run that saw which uh, the Geniverse wouldn't. Yep. So, pretty cool unit. I appreciate Power Queen and Wise for sponsoring some of the products used. Check the links in the video if you want to build one of these yourselves. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. We'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and we'll see you next time.